complexity to it. It's very simple. What's the downside to a sole proprietorship? The big downside. Liability. No liability protection, right? So one person can start an LLC that's called a single member LLC. Single member. One person. Right? Now, the advantage of that, you have to file with the state. You have to file LLC articles of organization. That's really all you have to do at the most basic level. There really are some other things you should do. But you're basically a sole proprietorship with limited liability at that point. You report your taxes on your own 1040 form. You have to fill out Schedule SC, self-employment, Schedule F if you're a farmer. Um, but basically, it's really simple. Um, and that's a really popular form of business now. I do a lot of people, I set up a lot of single member LLCs for people, just them, one person. Uh, the other neat thing about a single member LLC is you can have other corporations and LLCs own an LLC. So like for example, maybe I have an S Corp. And let's say I have four different apartment buildings. And each one of those apartment buildings is worth substantial amount of money, so I do a separate LLC for each of those apartments. Why? Compartmentalizes liability, right? So if somebody gets hurt in this apartment and sues, I have a shield among the other assets. And then they're all tied back into my one. They don't have to do a separate tax return. They're all owned by one parent company. And that's a real common way of of structuring for liability. I won't test you on that, that's, super, that's pretty high level there. So just want you to know that the, that's kind of the idea. So one person or a, a business can own a single member <coughs> LLC. All right, the general partnership model. The general partnership model is two or more people that are members, so we call this a multi-member managed LLC, or a member managed LLC. And don't worry, I'm not going to test you on these different names, okay? So this is a general partnership model. Now, again, the, the, the good thing about a general partnership is everybody gets to vote. You have management authority. You get your percentage of profit based upon your ownership level. It's not taxed, it's double tax. And there's a lot of benefit to it. So. Very common, very common for two or more people. Instead of being a general partnership, you'll be a member managed LLC and you vote your percentage. But you do have now liability protection. So basically, you're a general partnership, only you have limited liability. But everything else kind of is the same. So the next model is the apartment building model, or the, this could also be an LLP model. But basically, where you're going to have investors and a manager. So this is called a manager managed LLC. So you're going to have a manager or a group of managers, and then you're going to have a bunch of investors. Really common. You see this a lot in real estate deals, um, senior housing facilities, student housing facilities, shopping malls, large investment projects, oil fields, where you've got like a, the manager of a shopping mall, and you've got investors, it might even be publicly traded. Real common way of doing things. But unlike the limited partnership, the managers have liability protection, full liability protection. And finally, we have the corporate model, and this can either be an S corp or, or a C corp. I'm not going to get into too much detail there, but this is becoming really common. You can be an LLC and pretend to be an S Corp. Um, <coughs> you're an LLC, but you're acting like an S Corp. It seems really weird, but I'm seeing this more and more. And basically, there's the reason for that is there's a tax benefit because if you pull money out of the S Corp, pay yourself a wage, and then money on top of that's a dividend. Yeah. Is it offering more liability protection, or is it? So what? Does it offer any more, any additional levels of liability protection? No, actually, I think, I think it offers less than a full or real S-Corp. 
uh, slightly less than a real S corp, um, but basically the same. Yeah, it doesn't offer more. I think it offers just slightly less, but really it's right there. Yeah. The nice, the good thing about it is though, it's an easy way to set up. Set up. Um, now, oh, I don't. I'm going to really confuse you guys, but I'm not going to test you on this. And I just want you to know in the real world. An LLC, if it wants to, can also be treated as a C corp, meaning double tax. You don't see that very often. Um, primarily, that's going to be because you're in international, doing international business where other countries treat you as a taxable corporation. Um, so, and again, don't worry, I'm not going to make you diagram this all out, all right? I do want you to know the owner of an LLC is called a member. And that it's very flexible. You have these different variations, and it's really important, real world time again, when you set these up, that you make sure you have paperwork in order that clearly establishes what kind you are, what the rights are, what authority the manager has, all that. Is it going to be in the test? Um, no. I'll show you what will be on the test. This, that, and that. <laughs> LLC. Limited liability, single tax. You know that much, you're good. What okay. is the cost for going to be? Um, primarily, it's going to be um, true or false, an LLC offers limited liability. True. True or false, an LLC uh, is a single tax. True. That kind of question. You're not, I'm not going to make you die your hand. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Don't worry, so easy. So these two right here. Um, yeah, and, and again, remember, a lot of detail. That's why I really want you to focus on what I want you to know. So let's go over that again, okay? So first of all, page 80, list four of the types of business organization forms, forms that we have available to us. <clears throat> now, I have a variation on that question. List four that have at least some liability protection. So if I ask it that way, which two do I not want to see? Sole proprietor, what's the other one? General partner, right? So make sure you read the question. So some, sometimes I say list four and I don't specify. Sometimes I'll say list four that have liability protection. Or I might say it this way, list four business organizations that do not have double tax. If I ask it that way, I don't want to see a C corporation, right? All right, so 100%, I, I, will, I will ask you some variation of that question, for sure. So the best way, to, best way in your mind is to remember page 82, LP, LLP, S Corp, LLC. If you remember those four, you're pretty much going to hit any, any question I might ask. Because those have all limited liability and there's no double tax. This can you say it again? The three? This three? The four. Yes. LP, LLP, S Corp, LLC. And you don't have to write it out. You can just write LLC. Now, the other question, list four of the factors, right here, list four out of these seven that you will analyze when you're deciding which of these structures you want. So list four of this column right here, and list four of this row right here. Got it? Those are the two, those are the two fill in the blank questions. And I'll be going over this again next week. Next week's our last class, but I want to make sure you know, I make sure I hit it for you all the way around. <clears throat> all right, does anybody have any questions about any of that? Yeah. Now again, <clears throat> way more detail than I'll test you on. Focus on these two rows, which have liability, which don't, and the double tax versus single tax.
And then these two boxes right here, general partnership, all partners get a vote. Limited partnership, you have two different roles. General partner manages, limited partners don't. They can't do management. Oh, you may have, you may be wondering about what I've got right here. I forgot to tell you that. Switching. Uh, this would be an order of how long they've been around. So S Corps really should be on this side, because C Corps have been around forever. I mean, again, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, way before the United States. They go by different names, but it amounts to a corporation. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's switch gears for a minute. 